thing going. All right. So welcome. Good morning, everyone. Let's come on into our comfortable. Let's start in an upright this morning. Um, so come on to a comfortable place for your body this morning, wherever that may be. Sitting up nice and tall, feeling grounded through your sit bones. Nice and tall through the spine, all the way up through the crown of the head, but staying soft through the shoulders. So just noticing if you tend to carry some stress and hunch up in there and try to relax. So maybe let's just take a few rolls of the shoulders just to kind of let those muscles start to soften and encourage them to relax a little bit. So just take a couple rolls in each direction, maybe roll them forward. Coming back to just an easy, comfortable, neutral. Take an inhale. Let's bring both arms overhead. Really reach them up high and then grab the left wrist. Take an inhale and just take a very gentle stretch to the right. So letting that left side body start to lengthen. And then using an inhale, come back up to center and switch sides. Grab the right wrist. Inhale, lift up and just a gentle stretch over to the right. Body start to wake up and soften. And then inhale, come all the way back up to center. And then bring the hands to your lower back. And let's just get a gentle heart opener here while we're sitting. So the hands just sort of on the lower, lower back for a little bit of support. Inhale, lift the shoulders up and then bring the shoulder blades together. And just a little bit of, of gentle lifting from the heart center to just feel that opening through the front of the body. It's a small movement, especially when we're seated, because we don't want to lean back or fall back, certainly. Just want to kind of lift up, try to let the shoulder blades get heavy down your back. The heart center is lifting. Take another inhale, and then exhale, and just kind of release that, and maybe just roll the shoulders forward. You can bring your hands in front and just kind of put the head, just let the whole back body just round a little bit. Come back up where we started to just the neutral upright, let your hands rest on your lap, or you can have hand in hand or some kind of neutral with the fingers, let the muscles on your face and eyelids soften. Now let's just start to come into our breath a little bit. You can take a few deep breaths in and out through the nose to start and just get the breath moving and flowing. Starting to watch it, starting to see its pace and pattern. As you're, you're breathing, just remember to keep a, a small, gentle awareness in the core, just to keep those muscles engaged, to keep your spine erect, nice and tall. And then watching the breath and really trying to focus on that, trying to push aside any other thoughts going on this morning. Let them just take a back seat to the breath. Watching it come in and out. And then eventually falling into its natural pace, not trying to control it or lengthen it. Trying to stay soft through the top of the shoulders. Your thoughts start to stray, going back to whatever is swirling this morning or whatever you have going on in your day. Coming back to the breath, maybe counting and inhale, inhale one, exhale one, or using a mantra, I breathe in, I breathe out. Something to keep your focus on the breath. around the breath here. And 
start to lengthen the inhale. So now starting to control the breath a little bit and sipping up the air to about a five count. And you can be a little shorter or a little longer, depends on your breath, but filling up the lungs. When you get to the top, hold it for that same count. And then gently releasing down to the same count. Five, four, three, two, one. At the bottom, holding again for that five-ish count. And then letting the lungs refill nice and slowly, but evenly to that same count. At the top, hold. And gently release. At the bottom, hold. And then again, refilling the lungs. Holding at the top. Releasing down. Bottom hold. And then inhaling, we'll do two more rounds. Filling up the lungs, the belly, the body. Holding at the top. Down. At the bottom, hold. And then again, inhaling one more round, filling. Hold at the top. Releasing that hold. Holding at the bottom. And then go ahead and refill the lungs and come back to your natural pace of breath. So letting the breath flow in and out. And just coming back into your own even natural flow. And then with your next inhale, let's bring the arms overhead. Bring the palms together and through to your heart center. And we'll pause here, set our intention or dedication. Focus. Breathing that in, seeing it clearly. Take another breath in. And whenever you're ready, releasing your hands back into your lap. Take an inhale through the nose. And out through the mouth, settling back in. Take another inhale, keep the arms high. And then this time, bring the right hand down, keep the left fingertips high. Your hand can be on the earth or maybe a block if you have one nearby. Depending if you're sitting on a block, it might be nice to have an added height there. Inhale, lift up and exhale, then take those fingertips over to the right to whatever degree feels comfortable. Really feel that space between the, the rib cage and the, and the hip expanding. Softening in here, trying to keep your torso, your heart facing forward. So notice if you start to look down toward the earth, just keep your gaze toward the front. Just take another full breath here. And then an inhale to come back up. And we'll take the other side, right fingertips up, left hand down, inhale, lift up, and then exhale, gently take it over to the left. And just using your breath to let the body soften, start to lengthen. Take another full breath here. And then inhale to come up, back to center. 
and then just take a twist to the right. You can use your hands in front and back, or that left hand can come on top of the thigh, but sitting up really tall, leading with the heart, and just let the gaze sort of stay in line with your sternum. So just notice if you tend to bring your gaze all the way over that right shoulder. We don't want to straighten through the neck, but really just twisting through the spine, <clears throat> excuse me, and through the center of the body. Take another breath, and then gently release, come back to center, and we'll take it over to the left. Another full breath. Exhale, gently release. And then let's, if you're on a block, just remove that. And let's open up the legs wide. So coming into a wide-legged seated pose, and you're, you don't have to be as wide as your legs can go, but you want to be able to feel some sensation through the inner thigh. Keep your heels flexed so your toes are pointing straight up toward the sky or toward, back toward your body a little bit. And again, sitting up really tall. So just noticing without um, leaning forward at all, sitting tall, where you feel any sensation. And depending on your body this morning and what you've done, you might feel more or less than you have other times. Take another breath in and then bring the hands in front and slowly start to walk them forward. And when I say walk forward, that might just be one little walk. For some of you, it might be a lot more. You might come down to your forearms or come even further, maybe some of you to your belly. But we're just going to stay for a few breaths here and let the thighs, the inner thighs, some of the hamstring muscles, the hip and the groin just start to soften and ease in here. So try to keep a long spine here. Try not to round. The longer that you keep the spine, the taller, the more that you'll feel the sensation through the inner part of the thighs. So if you do have some blocks that you can use to prop up and maybe just let your arms rest on so that the shoulders, you can let your head get heavy here and let the back of the neck get long while keeping the spine long. Take about five more breaths. Just letting your body soften in. If it moves a little deeper, that's great. If it stays right where you are, that's great too. Just as long as you're feeling something. Take another full breath. Release and walk your hands all the way back up. Come into another side stretch. So keeping the legs long. Let's inhale the left fingertips high. Right hand can rest on your leg or outside onto the mat wherever it's comfortable. And then exhale and take it over to the right. Making sure you keep your sit bones grounded here. Just gently, again, letting the body soften in and settle in. The left fingertips are moving toward your right toes. Some of you might eventually reach them. Some of you might never. It doesn't matter. As long as you're lengthening through the side body, letting the body soften in. Take another full breath here. And then use an inhale to come back up. And we'll take it over to the other side, right fingertips high, inhale, lift up, and then exhale, take it over. And making sure that your torso is staying facing toward the front, which right now, I guess, the front of your, your mat, and not down toward that leg. Take another full breath. And then an inhale to come all the way back up. And then bring the soles of the feet together. You can kind of help them together if, if need be, and come into a bound angle, Baddha So let's scooch the pelvis and the heels close together. So kind of moving that in. You can interlace your fingers underneath the feet, underneath the toes. Just let gravity take your knees toward your mat, toward the earth, to whatever degree they open up. And again, sitting nice and tall, 
So sometimes we round this pose. Right now we're going to stay nice and tall. So lift it through the heart, soft through the shoulders, and just letting gravity open up your hips, your legs. So you can even let the eyes close as we take another breath or two here. <clears throat> take another full breath. And then release, and we're going to come into a, an extended version of this. So bringing the heels away from your pelvis about maybe 18 inches or so. So you make that nice big diamond shape with your, with your legs. And then now we're going to round through the spine. So bringing the forehead toward your feet. So again, if you have any kind of prop, you can stack that up so you can let your forehead rest on it. Some of you might bring your forehead all the way right down to your feet, and that's fine too. So whatever allows you, this is a little bit less about the hips and the inner thighs and more about the lower back so that you can release through sort of the whole mid and lower back here. And your hands can sort of walk forward or they can rest by your sides, wherever is comfortable there. And taking a few deep breaths here. And one more full breath. And then release and then stretch the legs out long. Maybe just give a little shake. Flexing the heels, toes pointing either straight up to the sky or back toward your face. Long through the backs of the legs, the long through the spine. Let's inhale the arms high, reaching them up, and then exhale. We're going to stay long through the spine. So, again, we don't want to round this one, we want to stay nice and long. Let the hands come down anywhere along the sides of the legs, the knees, the calves, the ankles. Some of you might grab your big toes or the sides of the feet. But really, just going for length and starting now to get a little bit more into the hamstring. Staying long, so feel like a little bit of leading with the heart toward your toes. You can let the head get heavy here if that feels okay. So keeping the, the spine long. If you let the head get heavy and that forces you to round, then let's keep the gaze a little bit more lifted. So you can also bend your knees here as much as you need so that you can still be getting some sensation through the backs of the legs. So we want to make sure that there's no strain. You should be feeling this, but not certainly not in any kind of any kind of pain or discomfort. Mm -hmm. Take a few more breaths, letting the body settle in here. One more full breath. Release, come all the way back up. Let's bring the hands behind. Bend the legs, we're gonna come into a reverse table. So fingers are facing toward your back body. Feet are about hips width and parallel. And then we're gonna ground through the heels and through the palms, lift the hips to the sky. You can keep your chin tucked on your chest or you can drop the head back if that feels okay on your neck. Either way. So grounding through the heels and the palms, lifting the hips, using your glutes, using your quads, using your core. Take another inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly lower. And we're going to take the hips and sling them all the way through our hands. See if you can keep them lifted. This is core, all core. And then release and bring the hips back up to the sky. Take three breaths here. <clears throat> One more inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower. And again, swinging the hips through the hands. If you can keep them lifted using the core three, two, one, and come back up. Hips to the sky one more time. Three breaths here. One more inhale. And then exhale, release and swing the hips through as best you can. Keep them lifted. Three, two, one, and then release down. And let's cross over ankles and the knees let's come on up to um come on up to our knees you can double over your back or put something underneath the knees if they're sensitive bring the hands to the lower back we'll come into our heart opener here so bringing the shoulder blades together and then drop them down your back as you lift from the heart 
to the side here. So it's a small movement. You don't have to feel like you're coming all the way into a back bend. You want to stay as upright as you can, lifting up from the heart. The hands are there as a reminder to lift up and just a little support. Shoulder blades are moving together and down. And again, if your uh, neck and throat feel okay, you can bring your gaze up or even all the way toward the back of the room. Otherwise, you can keep the chin tucked on your chest and the gaze straight ahead. Take another inhale. And then as you exhale, release, coming back up to center. And then just guide your hips back to your heels. Come into a child's pose, forehead toward the earth. Rounding through the spine. Let's take three full breaths here. One more inhale. Stay for the exhale. You can release. And let's come into our table. Turn this way. So coming into your neutral table to start, shoulders and hips balanced, core engaged, gaze between your thumbs. And just feeling that core, those muscles engaged, keeping your lower back lifted. Take another inhale. And then as you exhale, you can lift the tail, drop the heart, lift the gaze a little bit coming into your cow. Pausing here, taking another full breath. And then reversing that, coming into your cat. So rounding through the spine, dropping the crown, gently tucking the tail. Just taking a full breath here. And then go ahead and just move through each pose with your half breath. So an inhale in one direction and exhale on the opposite. Moving on your breath, trying to let the breath lead and the body follow. Let's take one more in each direction. We're just rounding out so that you do both evenly. Coming back to your neutral. And then let's step the left toes back and the right fingertips forward. So creating length. And then lifting that back foot, flexing the heel, making sure that your hip is dialing down. If you do have a block, you can always bring it to the lower back and just use that as a reminder to keep balance so that if you do start to open up, well, the block isn't falling off of me, but maybe it will <laughs> if you open up enough. So reaching the fingertips forward, flexing the heel toward the back of the room, keeping that core engaged, protecting the lower back and making sure there's no sagging there. The gaze is just down at the top of your mat. Breath is full. Take one more inhale. And now either stay here with the length or bend that back knee, reach around with the right hand to the top of the foot of the ankle. Ground through the left palm and add the heart opener. Left heel reaching toward the sky. Heart lifting. Take one more breath in and then gently release and come back to your length. Another inhale and then exhale, release both hand and, and knee down. Come back to your child's pose. You can come into an extended child's pose. Fingertips tented forward, forehead either on or just moving toward the earth. Another inhale. And then exhale, release. And come back up to your neutral table. We'll take the other side. Stepping the right toes back, left fingertips forward, grounding through that right palm. And then lifting the back heel, just an inch or two, flexing the toes down. Staying really strong through the core. Lengthening and breathing. One more inhale and either stay here in your length or we'll add the heart opener, bend that right knee, reach back with the right hand, the left hand, sorry, grab the foot or ankle, grounding through that right palm, lifting the heart. And 
Take one more inhale, and then gently releasing. Come back to your length. One more breath in, and then exhale, release down. Come back into your extended child's pose, rounding, breathing into the back body. back through to your table and then we're going to come into a plank so you can step your toes back step your feet back and come into your high plank you can drop the knees keep your toes on or drop the knees and lift the toes anyone can come down onto your forearms and do the same thing in either a supported or unsupported forearm plank if you have any kind of wrist issues can you find your version of plank for this morning your feet should be about hip distance. Just make sure they're not like really close together or as wide as the mat. So you want to just have them just glance back and make sure they're about hips width. Your shoulders are balanced over your wrists or slightly behind. Make sure that your wrists, either your shoulders are not in front of your wrists. You're just going to put a lot of pressure on the wrist joint there. And then finding your fullest breath, gaze between the thumbs. The core is working, of course. If your knees are lifted, then your quads and your glutes are working here as well. Keep digging for that full breath. We're going to stay for three more. So one more inhale. And then together, let's lower the knees, and we're going to hinge the elbows toward the back of the room and slowly come all the way down to our belly. So lowering with control, trying to let your belly and your chest touch at the same time. And then we'll come into our low cobra, so pressing the tops of the feet, engaging the legs, feel the kneecaps lift, bring the shoulder blades onto your back, and then lifting from your heart center. Maybe the hands come off for this first one or they're gently pressing either way, using your back muscles to lift you. And the gaze is just straight ahead. Try not to strain the neck at all by bringing the gaze too high up. Take another full breath here. And then bring the hands back down to either side of your heart and let's press up into a little bit higher cobra or you can scoot forward to your upward facing dog. Whichever version works for you this morning. Another inhale, and then exhale, slowly send it all back to your child's pose. Just moving slowly with intention so you don't do anything too quickly or too jarring to the body. Coming in, you can be extended or you can bring your hands back either way. Another full breath here. And then come on back into your plank. So walk the hands back forward. Again, any version of plank. This time we're going to stay for just five breaths. One more inhale. And then your choice, you can either lower the knees like we did, or you can hinge forward and come through to your chaturanga, lowering halfway. And then coming through to your back bend, your cobra or upward facing dog. Taking another inhale, and then exhale, slowly sending it all back to your child's pose for three breaths. And then inhaling, come forward to your plank. So we'll move through this a little bit more on the breath, so our modified vinyasa. So coming to your plank, take an inhale. Exhale lower, either chaturanga or all the way to your belly. Inhale to your back bend. And exhale, send it back to your child's pose. One full breath. Inhale, come forward to your plank. In and exhale slowly lower. Inhale to your back bend, lifting your heart, 
And then exhale to your child's pose, sending your hips back. One full breath. One more time. Inhale, come forward. Plank. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra. And exhale it back to your child's pose. This time, take three breaths here again. And inhale, come forward. Let's come back to our plank. We're going to come into a side plank this time. So if you are in a, a full plank, we're going to come onto our right side first. You can stack both feet. You can lower one knee. So either way, send the left fingertips to the sky. Send your hips to the sky. And feel your core working here. Keep you engaged. Gaze up a little bit, maybe open the heart. Take another inhale and then release and come back to your center plank. Let's just take our modified vinyasa like we've been doing. Come on now. Inhale, lifting the heart and exhale. Come back to your child's for one breath. And then inhale, come forward again to your plank. So we'll come on to the left side. Lower that V, or you can keep the feet stacked. Right fingertips high, lifting the hips. Breathe in fully. Maybe opening the heart a little bit. One more inhale. Then exhale, come back to center. And take your modified vinyasa. Come back to your child's pose, one full breath. And then inhale, come back up to your plank. Come back onto your right side, Vashistasana. We're gonna turn this into a wild thing. So taking your left, your top leg behind you. And so if your knee is down, you can still take that, um, you might just turn your foot the right foot so it comes off your mat if your right knee is down. If your right leg is all the way extended, then you're just going to take your left toes behind and turn your heart open and come into your wild thing. One more inhale and exhale, release and come back to center. This time let's come into a downward dog. And use that as our reset instead of the vinyasa. So let's take three nice breaths here. One more breath. And then abandon that exhale. Come back into your plank. I'll turn this way this time. And come back into your Vashistasana on the left. And then we'll take the top, that right foot, and bring the toes to the right. And then lifting the hips and lifting the heart, open into your wild thing. One more inhale. And then exhale, release and bring everything back around. And come back into your downward facing dog. Three breaths. And at the end of that third exhale, let's take the right leg high, float it up, and then open up that hip. And just let the legs open to your own degree. Take another breath in, and then exhale, release. So we're going to take that right foot all the way forward, drop the back knee. That's why it's got weird. Drop the back knee, and then come on into our Anjani Asana. So dropping the back knee, grounding into that right heel, and dropping into our lunge. You can start with your hands at your waist, and then we're gonna inhale them high, lifting up through the heart, trying to keep the hips squaring. 
And then exhale, cactus the arms, bringing the shoulder blades together on your back, or maybe releasing and interlacing the fingers. Lifting up from the heart, softening down into the hips. Take another inhale. And then exhale, release, and let's send the hips back, flexing the right toes to the sky, coming into our hamstring. I'm taking a few breaths here. Breathing into the back of that right leg. Another breath. And then coming back forward into our lunge, this time with the hands on either side of that front foot, maybe on blocks, maybe on fingertips. I'm just taking a few breaths, softening in here. Grounding into that right heel, trying to keep the hips squaring. So there's strength in this right side. And take another full breath. And then inhale, come on up. So now bring your, your right hip up over that. Um, I mean, sorry, your, your left hip and left knee are kind of stacked there. Inhale, both arms high. And then exhale, palms together through heart center. Take a prayer twist to the right. Dropping left elbow over right knee. Pressing the palms into one another. Twisting the heart to the right and breathing, filling the belly. Five deep breaths here. One more inhale and exhale, release. Come back to center, send the arms high, lift up from the heart. Inhale and then exhale, release the hands, tuck the back toes and step that right foot back to meet the left into your downward facing dog. And just take a nice couple of breaths here, lifting the hips and lengthening down through the heels. Another inhale, and then let's take that left leg to the sky with an inhale, float it up, and then you can open it up. Another breath in, and exhale, release, and we'll take that left foot and step it all the way forward. Drop the back knee, and we'll come into our Anjaniyasana on the left. So grounding into that left heel, inhale both arms. You can start again with your hands at your waist as you start to uh, lengthen through that right hip flexor. Hips are squaring off towards the front of the mat. Inhale, the arms high, lifting up through the heart, softening down through the shoulders. And then exhale and cactus the arms, bring the shoulder blades together on your back, or maybe releasing the arms long and interlacing. <clears throat> if you do interlace, maybe try to find the opposite interlace that you did on the other side. Lifting up from the heart, softening down into the hips. Another breath in, and then exhale, release that, bring the hands to either side of their front foot, and then we'll slowly send the hips back, flexing the toes to the sky, coming into the hamstring on our left. Another full breath here. Release and come forward into our low lunge, hands on either side of that front foot, on blocks or fingertips, whatever allows you to access the pose to your deepest degree. Another full breath here. And then inhale, come on back up tall. Again, so now the right hip is stacked over that right knee. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale through to heart center. We'll take our prayer twist to the left, right elbow over right, over left knee. Pressing the palms and then really twisting through the center of your body, filling the belly with breath. One more full breath. 
and then release, come back to center. Send the arms and the heart high, inhale. And exhale, release the hands down, tuck the back toes, and we'll step to the front foot back to meet the right into your downward facing dog. If this doesn't work as a reset for you, come on down to your table or child's pose. You find the place where your body finds that reset and is able to get ready for moving forward. And if you're in a, any other pose, just start to make your way back to your downward facing dog. So I'll take a full breath here. And then inhale, hinge forward, we'll move through our vinyasa. Coming into your high plank, take an inhale, and then exhale, slowly lower, chaturanga, or all the way to your belly. Inhale to your back bend, cobra or upward facing, and then exhale, this time bring it all the way back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, and let's inhale, take the right leg high. Exhale, step it forward. Keep the back leg lifted this time. So coming into a crescent lunge. So find your footing. And then inhale, both arms high. Hips are squaring towards the front of the mat. I'm just going to turn and face this way. Take another breath in. And then exhale, hands through heart center. And we're going to take another twist. So twisting to the right, left elbow over right knee. You can drop the back knee. The difference here, instead of being all the way stacked, is we're a little bit more in a lunge. So if your back knee is down, that's fine. If the back knee is lifted, try to keep that leg strong. And either way, pressing the palms into one another. If any of you practice opening the arms, you can go for that. Or a half bind or a full bind. You take it to whatever version works best this morning. Three more breaths. And then that third exhale, release wherever you are. Come back up to your crescent lunge. Lifting up from the heart, lengthening inhale. And exhale, release the hands. This time, let's step the back foot in to meet the front. We're going to come into a rag doll. So keep the feet about hip distance. Grab opposite elbows. Drop the crown of the head. And just let your body relax here into the pose, letting the backs of the legs lengthen, letting the lower back, mid back, upper back, shoulders, let everything release. And take another full deep breath here. And then releasing the hands, let's step both feet back to your downward facing dog. An inhale, and maybe an open mouth exhale. And then inhale, take the left leg high, load it up, maybe open it up. And exhale, release, and we'll step it forward into our crescent lunge on the left. So getting your footing, grounding your feet, inhale, both arms high. Squaring off the hips towards the front, softening the shoulders. Take another inhale, lifting up through the heart. And then exhale, palms together through heart center, and we'll take our prayer twist to the left. Again, you can drop that back knee, you come in to a little bit more of your lunge or keep it lifted. Keep that leg strong and then pressing the palms, or maybe opening, finding a half bind or a full bind, you find whatever version. And five full breaths when you get there. And in your fifth exhale, release. Come back to your center crescent. Inhale, lift everything up. And then exhale, release the hands down. Step that left foot back. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Another breath in. And this time with the exhale, let's walk the feet all the way through the hands. Come all the way down to a seat. Let's 
Make sure you're in the center of your mat. We'll make our way down with a little bit of core. So coming into our boat pose, so make sure you have um, enough room behind you when we make our way all the way down. So starting maybe clasping behind the backs of the legs, toes are about eye level, and the spine is nice and long. So lifting up through the heart a little bit, so we'll make sure you're not rounded like this, nice and tall. And then engaging through the core, release the hands, send them forward. Maybe bring them away from your body a little bit and feel how that increases the uh, sensation in the center. Maybe lengthening up the knees a little bit and that will do more of that increasing through the core. And when you get to your place where you're engaged there, we'll start our counting at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. If you feel your body starting to like Weaken it all, just come up out of it a little bit, bring the hands back in or bend the knees a little bit. Uh, four, three, two, one, and then hug everything in tight, make a nice little ball. This time now, round it through the spine. Take another breath in, and then exhale, release, and come back into your boat. And this time, we'll add a little bit of movement to it. So as you inhale, lift up through the heart, bend the knees, maybe bring the hands in. And then exhale, release and open. Nine, we'll do 10 of these. Eight, seven, six. Just trying to breathe along with a nice ease of motion. Five, four, three, two, whoops, one and hug the knees in. Again, rounding, take a breath in, open them up, exhale. And then we'll come back into our boat. We'll breathe for five and then take it all the way to the mat for five. So coming back in and starting there, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Now slowly opening and lowering to the mat, four, three, two, one, releasing everything down, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Let's send the arms overhead, lengthen both directions, inhale, and then exhale, hug the knees into the chest, give them a nice tight squeeze, maybe a little rock side to side, find the corners of the back, the lower back, maybe the lower mid, and just find any areas that you and find sensation by just rolling over and just use your own body weight to gently massage. And then we'll come into a bridge pose. So setting up the feet, hip distance parallel. Take an inhale and imprint the lower back. And then as you exhale, ground through the heels, lift the hips, walk the shoulder blades toward one another, interlace the fingers. Bring the gaze straight up and then engage through the quads and the glutes to keep lifting the hips as you breathe for five. Imagine there's a block between your thighs as well, so you don't want the knees to play out too much to the sides. You want to keep them nice and parallel. The end of your fifth exhale, slowly walk the shoulder blades apart and lower down one vertebrae at a time from the neck to the tail, and then all the way down. We're gonna come back up, so try not to move out of your leg position. Just take a nice full breath in, and an open mouth exhale. And then we'll get ready to come back up. So reset the feet, inhale, imprint the lower back. Exhale, lift the hips, walk the shoulder blades. Come on back in for five more breaths. One more inhale and then exhale, slowly lower and vertebrae at a time, coming all the way down. And then bringing the soles of the feet together, Supta Baddha Konasana. 
recline, bond angle, the hands can rest on the tops of the thighs or just on the sides of your mat. If you have blocks and you like to use those as a prop under your knees, just give you a little support there. It's always a nice added piece. And let your face soften. You can let your eyes close here. Take another two deep breaths. And then we'll gently guide the legs back toward the knees, back toward one another. Put them into your chest. Just let the whole back body get a little heavier here. Feel everything just sort of melting onto the mat. And then we'll take an inversion. So your choice of legs up, shoulder stand, or if you practice something else or you're near a wall and want to come up into headstand or handstand, of course, you can feel free to do that. Be Bharini Karani with a block underneath your lower back is lovely. It's giving you a little added height there. So wherever you are, let your body soften, let your face soften, let your eyelids get heavy here. And just settle into your pattern of breath. Just do a quick body scan, noticing if you're clenching any muscles or holding on anywhere, and really try to let go of that. Spend your breath there. If you're, don't notice if you're clenching your fists or your shoulders, your jaw, your forehead. Take about three more breaths here, and then we'll come through our plow. From either your shoulder stand or from legs up. If you also want to come into plow, bring your toes overhead and your hands on your lower back for support. Get that nice stretch all the way through the back of the neck, the upper back. Your toes can either be tucked under or they can be flat and maybe get a stretch through the tops of your feet as well. Another breath, and then gently release all the way down from there. Rolling all the way down, and we can reverse that. Coming into our fish pose, bring your hands underneath your sort of high hip, underneath the lower back high hip area, and then prop up onto your forearms, lifting up through the heart and drop your gaze all the way back. Add a little core here as well by lifting the toes. Three, two, one, and then gently release everything down. Give the knees another hug into the center, and we'll finish with a spinal twist. Knees to the right, gaze to the left, and take three or four deep breaths here. And coming back through center, we'll take it the other side, dropping the knees to the left and the gaze to the right. And three or four deep breaths. center and preparing for your Shavasana, taking up any other last movements before you come into Shavasana. Any other last movements to help your body soften into the stillness and extending your legs, extending your arms, taking a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just letting everything soften and release. Coming back into the focus of the breath. As you 
find stillness with your body. You might find the thoughts pick back up. So really try to focus on the inhale, and the exhale, watching that pattern. Starting to bring some awareness back to your breath and to your physical body. Deepening your inhale, lengthening your exhale. And with your next breath in, lengthening the arms overhead, take a deep inhale, fill up the lungs, fill up the belly and the body, and then exhale, hug everything in tight, send all the air out. And then drop the knees to one side. Take another deep, full breath there. And when you're ready, making your way back up to a comfortable upright. And bring our hands together at our heart center. Bring back to mind our intention or dedication. And try to see it clearly. Breathe it in. And let's bring our hands to our crown to honor those thoughts. To our throats honoring our words and our hearts honoring our souls and the light that shines in each one of us. Namaste.